Hey Grade Sixes, we're going to be talking about the three M's in the R, mean, mode, median, and range, and how we use that in interpreting data, all the information that we're given. But before we do, let's take time for a musical interlude. Watch this. Hey, did you like that? Well, let's take a look at them itself individually. So first of all, mean. What you're going to say over and over and over again in my room is mean means average. Mean means average. Say it 10 times now. I can't hear you. Yeah, keep saying it because mean means average and that's what you need to know. So whenever you're asked to find the mean of something, it means to find the average. Well, let's say we've got some data here. So 8763979, that's our data. We have to figure out what the mean is or what the average is. So what we do is we simply add it up. We add those up and we find it adds up to 49. So you add them up and divide. How many numbers do you have in our data? We have 7. So what is 49 divided by 7? It gives you 7. So therefore, our mean is equal to 7. Just add them up and divide by the number of uh, numbers in our data. Mean means average. Keep saying it to yourself so you memorize it. The next thing is mode. Well, what is mode? Mode is simply the most frequently used number in the data set. So for example, we're taking a look at our data here. We've got 8, 7, 6, 3, 9, 9, or 9, 7, 9. What is the most frequent? Well, I see two 7s, huh, but I also see two 9s. Well, they're tied. Mode is equal to 7 and 9. Well, in a case you've got data here, say that second 9 isn't there, well, all you've got is two 7s, so our mode is just simply 7. So a mode can be any number, but it's the most frequently used number in the data set. You ready for another musical? I am. Check out this. Right. Did you like that one? So let's talk about median. Median looks like the word middle. And in fact, that's exactly what it means. 
It is the middle number. M-E-D, M-I-D. It's the same sort of shape. Middle number is what the median is. So let's take a look at our data. We've got our 8763979. Well, the middle number is 3. Is that what it is? No, 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 no. The first thing you have to do is you have to put it in order. Either smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest. But mostly people do it smallest to biggest. So if we put our numbers here, 3, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 9, then what is our middle number? Well, if you take a line and take 3 off of one side and 3 off the other, you've got a middle number. And that middle number is, yes indeed, 7. And so therefore, our median number is equal to 7. Well, what happens if there isn't a middle number? Let's take a look at this data here. You've got 2, 3, 6, 9, 9, 10. So I've already got them in order from smallest to biggest. But if we take 3 off the top, or say we take 2 off the one side and 2 off the other, we've got two middle numbers. What does that mean? Well, what we have to do is you basically take those two middle numbers, 9 and 6, and you subtract them. So 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Then you take what's left, this 3, and divide it by 2. That gives you 1.5. So then what that tells you is that the median is equal to one and a half more than the six or one and a half less than the nine. So if you don't have, if you can't figure out exactly what the middle number is, then this is how you would do it. Subtract the two, divide it by two, and find out what the difference is and then figure it out. Now if this had been a seven, then the difference between 9 and 7, you can just figure out, well, 8 is in the middle, so 8 would be the median. But in this case, we had to go 7.5. Just one more to go, and that is the range. Not home, home on the range, definitely not, but the range is the span of numbers. What is the biggest number subtracting the smallest number? And that gives us the whole range of numbers that we're dealing with. So again, let's look at our numbers here. What we take is our biggest number, which is 9, and we subtract the smallest number of the data set, which is 3. 9 minus 3 is 6, so our range is 6. Wow, what other way to finish than to finish with another musical? So get ready for a final musical of mean, mode, median, and range. Watch this. Today we're going to be taking a look at measures of central tendency. Specifically, mean, median, mode, and range. One or none. Mode is the most one. More than one or none. 
basically just remember that mode is the number in the data set that repeats itself the most. And there can be more than one mode, or there can be no mode. Therefore, mode is the most one, more than one, or none. Alright, now we're ready for my favorite, median. Median, median, play on the fiddle, splash up the sides and I'm right in the middle. Unless there's two, then you know what to do. Add them together, divide it by two. How about one more time? Median, median, play on a fiddle, slash up the sides and I'm right in the middle. Unless there's two, then you know what to do. Add them together and divide them by two. Basically, median is the middle number of a data set when the data set is ordered from smallest to biggest. However, if there is an even number of numbers in a data set, then automatically when you find the middle one, there's going to be two. Therefore, you need to find the average or mean of these two middle numbers to find the median. Therefore, you add them together and divide those two numbers by two to find their average. And that leaves us with range, which has no other way to be saying but this. Home, home on the range, where subtraction is our favorite game. I know those of you that are over 30 or 40 know what I'm talking about when I sing that. Basically, that's it. Subtraction, range, subtract the smallest from the biggest. Hope you enjoyed this. All right, a little wrap to finish this off. So we got our mean, our mode, our median, and our range. Stay cool.